The sight of someone walking down the street talking into their cell phone used to turn heads. Now, no one even notices. The numbers have grown by leaps and bounds, and the feedback from consumers to the communications industry is that size does matter. You know, when you started out with those huge phones that you needed a carrying case, and now you can slip them in your pocket, yeah, I'd say size does matter. The one I have is too big and too cumbersome. The smaller the better. I'd like something that I can just slip into my pocket. For those looking for smaller phones, be confident they're getting even smaller. The palm size Nokia 6100 series and the AudioVox MVX855 almost look large when compared to the Ericsson CF788 or Sony's CMZ100. Now, even the more compact Motorola StarTac must move over for the smallest yet, the new Motorola V3 620. Hard to believe it's no longer than a lipstick and not much wider. But there are typical trade-offs that come with these tiny talking devices. You get less talk in standby time, the and there are ease of use concerns as well. The space between my ear and my mouth isn't going to change. <laughs> so I guess, I guess, you know, this is about it. Sometimes smaller also means more expensive. For the night team, Lenise Weeks, today's TMJ4.